on, on page page one. Mm -mm. Audit. In a bid to respond to audit queries found in the Auditor's General Report for the financial year 2023-2024, officials from the Uganda National Oil Company, led by their CEO, Proskovia Nabanja, appeared before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament today. Vote holder account for your money. Despite the company's budget to collect over $6 billion worth of the revenue, at the end of the financial year, they collected over $30 billion an overperformance that raised queries among the members who sought to know the source of the funds. You collected more than what you budgeted to collect. We invested in treasury instruments out of the monies that were given for ECOP uh, in anticipation of the cash calls. So instead of holding the money on account, we invested in treasury instruments and that created that 37.6 surplus. It was also discovered that the money appropriated by the finance ministry to the company for East African crude oil pipeline activities was diverted after being found to be laying idle in the company's account. The PSC members expressed contempt towards the board's discussion. You made some money, yes, but it was off your core function, core activity for which money was appropriated. At the time of budgeting, yes. why didn't you know you'll get this money, yes. it will not be used, instead of holding it our account, we shall buy treasury. And you also estimate how much money it would generate when you buy treasury, so that it is also put in your expected revenue. That money to do a project will always be kept like that, because there is a profit, quicker profit that will be made on treasury bills and bonds. Do we have a legal background to that decision? Exactly. In response, the Uganda National Oil Company Chief Financial Officer Emmanuel Mugaga backed up their discussion to act on the funds as they did. The Ministry of Finance released in advance money for one annual uh, estimate. I think the first tranche was around $178 million. That money came to ECOP. To, sorry, to UNOC, in anticipation of cash calls that will come from ECOP, the company. It was prudent for us to milk from this money whatever little that we could get for short periods of time. Mwanga Chivombi noted that this action without consultation from the parliament would cause them legal problems, especially considering the failure to provide comprehensive answers. Even when you are making profit, how are you anchored in the law? But this is public coffer appropriated to you by an act of parliament. Can you, can a board amend it? Even if you are going to earn from it. Before the table. Mr. Chairman. 